If you put a drone inside of a closed box, what happens when you fly that drone to the weight when you pick up the drone and fly it? And then, okay. also what happens, let's continue, what happens when you take the lid off and you remove the sides? Does that change anything? Okay, so in a closed box, uh, conser- I, f- I think that conservation of momentum means that if the drone is hovering, it must be imparting a downward force to the ground below it. In other words, when the drone takes off, the weight in the box stays the same if it's hovering. Uh, I think that's how the physics have to work. When you take the lid off, it's possible that some of the air will get out of the sides, but it doesn't seem like as long as it's like below the level of the lid, it could actually be a, imparting any momentum outside the box. So I think the weight stays the same. And when you lower the walls, now you could be imparting momentum on the ground outside the scale. So I think when you take the walls off, you'll see the, the weight goes down. The, I'm locking in my guesses, Regis. All right. All right. What's, now let's look, for the, look at the real answer. Uh, uh, yeah. So here's so, Action Lab. Yes. What, yeah, so what, hop, hop to around uh, 127. All right. 127. He takes off. He crashes a lot. <laughs> it's a little Emacs drone. I know that drone. Yishin. Nope, still zero grams. Zero grams. Yep. Even when he was pressing against the top of the box, which you would think would cause it to try to lift off. Yep, zero grams. No change. All right, that's one for me. All right. All right. So uh, then we'll check out uh, right around 245, somewhere in there. 245, all right. The lid is off the box now, right? Got no lid on the box, yep. Having a lot of trouble flying it. Bouncing a lot. Uh, I mean, still basically basically zero. Yeah, I mean, we're seeing like one gram, but I think that's just because he's bouncing. And when he flies out, boom! Negative 20 grams, just to prove. Yep. Just to prove uh, that it was, in fact, like, working. All right. Next. And then... Around 3.30, we'll get the last test. Hey, that's two for me. That's two for me. Now, that's a pretty big piece of paper. That's a pretty big piece of glass. Yeah, if he so goes near the edge of that glass. Based on what, yeah, based on what you said, I think uh, this shouldn't change it. Because, you know, you were saying if it blows out. Right. Yeah. If he gets near the edge, it's going to go down. But here, same thing. No. There you go. Yeah. Conservation of momentum, kids. So no change. Yeah. So the big thing that um, I was confused about was imparting forces on the side versus the bottom. So I was basically close, but I thought it would be a little bit different from variances from the wind and stuff. But then you forget that, like, we're in an active system where it's consistently moving the motors to change the output for what's under it. So yeah. no matter how much is lost, you're gonna make, you're gonna get the extra by it increasing throttle. Yeah. Exactly. If it's hovering, then you're in a steady state and the forces are all equalized. And if it's, if it's resisting gravity, then it has to be imparting a downward force. So, uh, but it's a great little demonstration of this principle. I mean, we've heard examples of this, like Rotor Riot did an episode where you try to fly a drone inside a, didn't Rotor Riot do the episode where you fly a drone inside of a U-Haul? I, I think uh, they did. I remember something about that. Same thing. Uh, fly a drone inside of a bus or on a plane. Um, license to drive says the drone weighs so little. Yeah, but I mean, the drone weighs 20 grams. The scale can definitely read 20 grams difference as demonstrated when he flies out of the sure. box. So yeah, it's maintaining within like one twentieth or one, you know. Yeah. Something now he's like going to do it with his DJI Mavic with the larger props. It probably will, uh, press more on the ground outside the glass. I don't know. Maybe it won't. Um, very cool. Very cool test. And thank you to Action Lab for doing this test.